I don't know, I think we've got enough time to do that. What I would say at the outset, uh, our ambition, our, our plan was always to try to be the best team in the country, as all other 10 teams, all other competitors would have wanted as well. But we felt that bit by bit, incrementally, we were improving from certainly from last year when we came close to being in the playoffs, given that you know, there was a lot of things that went against us, given that it wasn't, with all due respect, it wasn't my team in respect of, I inherited a lot of the players. I inherited a number of the foreigners that were under contract. Not that they weren't good players, they were good players, but they were probably one the, the type that I wanted in terms of how I wanted to put a team together, but still some very, very good players. So we, we came very close, uh, but knowing the bits that we needed to improve on. And when I say improve on, not without, you know, when we look at the league, there are some big, big clubs in the league, there's some huge spenders financially in the league. We were never going to be at that level, but what we had to do was be the best version of us for what we do. So obviously I had identified that I love working with young players. So myself, my staff, you know, continuously looking for, for young players at other clubs that maybe we felt we could bring them to our club. And each transfer window we did that. You know, if you think back to our first transfer window last January, when we brought, uh, we brought Boris in, I brought Farouk back, who's been missed all season. Can you imagine what kind of team we have if Farouk was available to us as well? Wow. And, uh, and obviously Len Dungle as well, who's come in. and Len Dungle's been brilliant for us, as Boris has, since he came in last January. And then into the summer, again, we wanted to, to look to add both domestically and, and the foreign players. I brought back Peter Hartley, who was outstanding for us last year. Alex Lima, who'd played through a lot of injury for us and, and still played at a very high level. And I knew I fit Alex Lima as one of the best midfielders in the league, and so it's, so it's proven. Uh, Jordan Murray played against us and you know, it was an exciting player, so we managed to, to get Jordan back in. Eli Sabri, I'd worked with at Chennaian and went to the final with me when we took Chennaian from the bottom of the league to the, to the playoff final and probably could and should have won that on any other day. So I knew the quality I was bringing with Eli to keep him there with, with Peter Hartley. You've got Alex Lima in the middle. Uh, he, we obviously, Valskis was already under contract for two years and, they, and obviously bringing Greg Stewart in as a number 10. You know, I didn't have that type of player available to me last year and I always kind of crave that player in my team. But because I inherited players, and I didn't have the kind of the resource to, to get that type of player. There certainly wasn't one like that available. Uh, I did try to sign Rafa Crivellero when I first came to the club, but he'd obviously signed a new contract at Shanine. So I needed that type of player. And Greg Stewart's everything and more that we wanted in that type of player. What he brings to the team, his quality off the park, how he is with his teammates. So that was obviously an outstanding addition in terms of the foreigners. And then looking at that as well, you know, the domestic players were so important. So I'd seen young than poor playing in the high league and I really liked what I've seen in him. Anas we tried to sign the year before but he did a bad injury but obviously a very experienced international player and he's not played a huge amount of minutes but he's been so influential in the group because he's an outstanding man and uh, so we brought obviously the boys in there as well to cover. We had young Narenda and then we get in the middle of the park. Uh, obviously Prona Harder was a fantastic addition. Somebody that's an international player, somebody that's a you know, proper man, knows how to play, knows what the value of himself and his teammates are and he's been a great addition in the, in the middle of the park for us with, with Pronai. And then in the wide areas, young Komal, like Boris, who I'd seen at ATK and I thought, wow, these are terrific young players, you know, I, I think I can help them, I can bring them on, but ultimately it's up to the players when they cross that white line and Komal probably missed half the season now, but he was outstanding for us and so exciting. And when you think of him and Farouk have missed out, it tells you the quality that, that would you know, be even surpassed what we already have if those boys were involved. And then obviously young Rutwick. I'd seen Rutwick at uh, Kerala briefly last year, but every time I seen him, I'd liked what I'd seen. And looking at him, he was obviously been released from Kerala, as you know, all those boys, the aforementioned ones, weren't playing in any of their teams. So it's nice when you're able to, you know, bring all those boys in, put them together, uh, and hopefully, hopefully you played a little bit, a little part in helping them to improve. Uh, Rutwick's been sensational. Like them poor as well. Obviously they need time to adjust to what we're about, but we see it in the training ground. I can see them every day improving. Young Sandeep as well with Jutendra, Mobashir, the young players at the club, Narenda, all stepping up, all showing that they want to be part of this moving forward. And uh, you know, and again, the big sign for me as well. And I'd love to be find a way that we can get him even more minutes because he's going to be a sensational player as, as Ishan Pandita. And we wouldn't be where we are without Ishan Pandita's goals. And not only that is general play, how he is about the place. But obviously back to back, he came up with vital winners at the right time. And that shows his quality. He's a natural number, ten, number nine. He's a better player now this year than he was last year. And he'll continue to improve. And obviously, you know, we're, we're in the goal. 
you know, he's been outstanding for him for two years. In my opinion, he's as good as any keeper in this country. And I certainly feel he should be knocking in the door. And I said this to Igor as well. He certainly, for me, should be in amongst the, those goalkeepers for the national team. But what he's got to do is keep on doing that. But he's been pushed all the way by Pawan, who's been outstanding as a, as, a, as a professional. So I can't praise him highly enough. I mean, if I've missed anybody, forgive me. We've got the two young goalkeepers, Vishal and Moat, who's pushing them on as well. And the staff, everybody, we, we work ever so hard. We do it together. And it's nice then when you get something tangible in terms of winning that shield, because it very much is a collective effort. And that's how we like to go about it.